Right, hooty hoo there, BBPN, and of course I'm a guest here. Guess what day it is? No, it's not Sunday, bloody awful Sunday, but it is playoffs. Let's get it on. Bloody awful season 20. What are you on? 24? My god, who can keep count? I don't think Yorick's got enough noblest to keep that count, but as it is, yep, you can see. Behold, game number two here from the bloody all playoffs here. Don't worry, there's still BVPN going on there. They're just wrapping up here. There's about two more games left in the regular season. Then there's going to be a review of the playoffs coming up. God, it's coming down literally to the last two games. That's going to decide the standings of who actually qualifies. And here goes home in a breadbasket. Let's take a look here. Orcs versus Dark Elves. You know both these coaches here. Dark Elves, the infamous one. And of course, the Orcs are run by the infamous Zodomon. So let's see how the lad does today. He has, of course, endorsed Ugroth in his goblin disguise. Yes, fun fact, they never got rid of the replacement models. Well, that's what happens when you lose two of the main developers. One to tragedy and one for other reasons. So, it's amazing special edition ever did come out. Oh, well, let's start this game off with, of course, the most exciting event that can ever happen in Blood Bowl. He said, oh, so sarcastically. So yeah, indeed. There we go. And easy peasy. Yeah, we squeeze. He's got the cal Where the fuck are you going? He's the kill piece, and he's got the fucking calico. Well, that was the fucking plan. Yes, the piling on kill piece has got the fucking ball. Well, fuck. <laughs> I can hear it now. Zectamon is not pleased at all. Oh, now he catches it. Well, well, he is strength four. Odds are he actually might hang on to his balls. Well, that's what his sister said last night. And we'll see how it goes on. All right, there we go. Many dice, solid fisting, mighty blow, fails to break the armor, and the orcs are on the way. Could this be a long drive? Who knows? Four re-rolls, and we're both carry for the Dark Elves. Three re-rolls, and the fame for the Chain Gang of Pain. Lots and lots of pain, and here he comes. Early foul, just an early attack. It's an early attack. Bing bong. I love the sound of me, Shooter. Don't you? I would have loved the sound of the chainsaw cleaving him in twain, but apparently that didn't work. There goes Ugoth already. Bye-bye. Oh, he's still alive. This is Sparta! Who knew he'd still be alive? Yep, yeah, remember, knocked down like that. It is plus three on his armor. Guess what it did? Two thirds of four fifths of fuck all. Ah, you can sing it along, can't you? Ah, Christ on a candy. All right, so... Dark Elves, they're in no hurry. You've seen how this play, how this coach plays it. He is fucking brilliant with Dark Elves. Makes them a surgical genius as he plays it. Looks for opportunities and boom, in he goes. And right now he's trying to figure out what to do with this Orc fur. Oh, how about failing the dodge? No! Well, that's fine. Doesn't break armor there. And he is on Astra Granite, so of course it doesn't break. Why would it? It's the nice, uh, fluffy armor. Hey, maybe. Maybe it's fluffy indeed. Solid hit. Solid takedown here. There's no real reserves either firm, as you can see. There's a load on one side, nothing on the other side here. So it is a deadly game here for both these firms. All right, well, cautiously moving the ball up again. Now sit down. Troll, of course, fails to move. No surprise there. Well, hopefully that wasn't your fucking blitz. Uh, in a game this critical, do you ever want to risk the blitz? Not really. Not really at all. All right, well, he's moving along here again. Hyper-cautious. 
You might as well remember there's no going home after this game. No ties. It is who goes home in a breadbasket. That was it? Really? That's it? It's all yours, boss. Ah, that is basically your turn. Normally, he is a very punishing team, except, well, guess who's got the ball? Like I said, the person who's his kill piece has got the ball on a random kick, and he's just going to hang on to it. Meanwhile, Urgriff just keeps taking it to the face. And yet, somehow, he's still alive. And yet, here we are, two red dice. Did he get the ball free? Let's find out. Push me, push you. Now he didn't, but look at the mess he's put it in. Oh my giddy art, oh, this is gonna get brutal. All right, take the skills out of the way so you can see how much of a mess this has become here. Yeah, here come the Dark Elves. One die, it's a push. He'll allow that. Chain push continues, and the Orc's cage completely broken at this point here. But fistings is what they're hoping for. Lots and lots of fistings. They might actually be able to get this to work. Maybe. Um, nom, 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 nom. Yeah, hooty who indeed. Like, you look at this mess here. What the fuck's going on? No, really. What the absolute fuck's going on? Look at the crowded mess it is. Sit down. The boys are all gonna die. Run. As you can see, the troll, he did a hit turn one. He has sat there ever since. Hasn't taken a swing at all here. Now the orcs are in a mad scramble. Because, well, look at the cage there. Started with saying that cage is more broke than his bank account this week. There we go, Chainsaw does the job, that's all it gets. It's a stun, you'll take it, at this point you'll take it. Again, the problem with the kill piece having the ball is becoming pretty self-evident at this point here. Meanwhile, dodge away, and yep, the Orcs, oh god, that was terrible. Alright, well there we go, cheeky foul, you might as well at this point here, because nothing else is working. And there we go, another glorious stunt. Ed still hasn't called a fucking thing. No surprise here. Ed's just in bewilderment at this. Well, there we go. Skull to start it with. And the Calder Girl does indeed get a nice little chain push. Trying to shove things around there. Oh, God. Right into a red skull. And down she goes. It's over 9,000. Well, that's what we always like when that calendar girl goes down. Diggity, 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 if you know what I mean. All right, back over here. To oh, the troll's finally moving. Hooray! Well, he took him, what is it, three turns? He finally starts moving. Don't know if he's going to do anything, but who knows? Meanwhile, orcs continue to smash away here, not getting any result. As mentioned, what reserves? So every casualty is going to count at this point here. Another solid fist, another solid takedown. Still can't even get a removal. Hell, he's been lucky to even get stuns. Ball carrier moves up a little bit there, just like everything else. Cool, this is enough to make you want to get more alcohol. All right, here we go, chain. Back at him again. There's things to shoot over there. Right to the groin. Does that affect them? No, of course not. He's had that bronze since last week. He's fine. Oh, he's where you cup. All right, meanwhile, solid it. Push me. Fuck you. Doesn't get anywhere there. And the frustration of the orcs continues. They are just not getting anywhere. Four fucking turns. They've been stuck at midfield all four fucking turns. Nothing is happening. Silence! Meanwhile, as you can see in this whole clusterfuck here, yeah, it's definitely a clusterfuck of skills. It is a massive duddy. Dark Elves not giving an inch. Not even wanting an inch either. Well, they really don't want anything there but cocaine. Miles and miles of it so far. Nothing's happening there. God, you think he's wired this team on Black Lotus before this game actually started. And then people say it's not just for kids anymore. Solid hit, solid takedown. Course doesn't break the armor. Jump Bob casually dodges away. There goes the Calder Girl, full speed ahead there. I'm going to gut you like a Cornish game hen. If she can get her hands on them, but so far, nothing. And here we are, turn five. Are you getting concerned? Oh, the trolls done it again, lads. Oh, trolls done it again. I knew today was going to be special. Oh, it's a special day for the troll, all right. They can't get anything to work. And there we go. You can see what's starting to happen. They're starting to get greed. And there he is. He makes it forward. He wants to pile on. He wants to. He's the ball carrier. He can't do it. Yep. Yeah. Believe it or not, Fidel, the ball carrier by fluke. 
is the kill piece. So he's stuck with it. He, he hasn't been able to do a fucking thing. He hasn't been able to do bugger all. Meanwhile, the Dark Elves just continue to resist, slowing down the Orc advance. Five turns! They've advanced two fucking squares forward in five turns. The Dark Elves aren't relenting. And here we go, one more time. Yeah, like shooting squeaks in a barrel. There we go. He finally gets a KO. He took five fucking turns. Finally breaks him, unfortunately. Ed kind of noticed that. He finally did. And so much for that idea. So, yes, he gets the KO, but he eats the injection in return. That ain't good. That's really not good there. Because remember, there's only the one orc reserve, and that's alone. So... It's a rather awkward game already here. Solid hit by the Dark Elves, and yep, they're doing it again! Endless resistance, endless beatings, endless kicking, and next thing you know, the Orcs are going backwards! <laughs> they really are- Oh god, he got him! One die! He got him! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> and look where the ball goes in behind. Let's turn that around. Yep, you can see it right there. It's a perfect bounce out from there all the way back. The Dark Elves easily in control of this here on turn five. The Dark Elves are threatening the score. Easy peasy, happy squeezy. He's got the calico. Casual dodging. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's all kinds of misfortune here. Sector Man is not having a day. He is having a horrible day. It's not just a day. Uh, is he doing anything wrong? I don't think he's done a single thing wrong. He just can't break fucking armor. Like, again, as I said, the person who's been stopped carrying the ball is the kill piece. Yay! The troll finally gets something. Shoot him! Crush him! Yes, indeed. Shoot him! Crush him! As you can see there. It's just a normal injury, doesn't actually cash anything in there. Yeah, I know why. Yeah, why not? The troll finally did something. That was a huge fucking injury. Remember, the Dark Elves have no reserves, so anything removed from the pitch is not coming back anytime soon, Twilight. There we go. Solid block on block, not getting anywhere here. Orcs. Yep, smartest move they can make. Running back, getting the forward player here. If anything, it's getting more players back here is free safety. So the Dark Elves can easily dodge away and run, Forest, run! Solid hit, solid takedown, and you've got it. Solid nothing. Yeah, lack of technicals on the troll. Definitely a thing. Unfortunately, this is an Orc firm, not an Underworld firm. It doesn't work that way, Sunshine. All right, Dark Elves on the move as we speak there. Hell yeah! And they're moving fast and vigorous here. Turn six. Looks like they're just going to walk this one in if they can. Well, if they can, that is the tea. That's why you all tune in on this one. Oh, there it is! Oh, my. The magic one! Does he double one it? No, but that cost him another reroll. But remember, the Dark Elves came in with four fucking reroll. And there's another one. Crap! Yep, another one. Well, so much for AD4, never failing. However, the Dark Elves have covered the situation as best they can before Epic Elf Dickery failed. All right, well, you can see here, Orcs are aware that they have to keep an older receiver down the field. They have done exactly that there. Does it aid to the trip ops? No, it's plus one to the AV break. That's what it does. Plus one AV brick. If they fail a GFI, so far not a single gerbil's shown up so far. Apparently they're in isolation. All right, solid hit, solid takedown right there. Well, they've got a cold apparently. They don't want to risk it being something else. Charges in. Come on, kill piece needs to get this hit desperately. Does get the hit. Gets the takedown. Does he get a removal? No, and he does not dive on. Instead, he decides to move through and just tag the player up. So much for that fucking idea. Who oh, got me an itchy trigger finger? Are you sure that was a good idea? Because quite frankly, I'm not too sure that was a good idea. Yep. Yeah. Not the dodges, only the GFIs. That's how it works. I get why he's doing this, but reality is he could have kept moving players and maybe, just maybe, got himself a solid real removal on a pylon. But I get why 
He's desperately trying to defend here, but meanwhile the Dark Elves not quitting, not stopping, and still on the move, and there they go. Damn, I'm good. That's what they keep telling him. All right, here we go, casual dodging. Do, 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 charges in with the frenzy. That's ah, just the power of wrestle. Well, that doesn't do any good, really, but it does slow the orcs down. Remember, if it comes down to Bill Bexley speed, Dark Elves have got a slight advantage on that, and of course, being a dodgy McDodgerson team. Well, that's it. Turn eight here for the Orcs. Remember, this was their drive. This was their drive. They spent five turns getting all of two squares forward. That was how vigorous that defense is, and it finally popped the ball free. Oh, there we are. We'll fill him full of holes. No, you're not. Clearly not, because he's still alive. You should have done that last turn, unfortunately. Well... Retrospect. It really was a retrospect on that one there. Meanwhile, moving in, there's the Blitz. He's not even going to try it. Well, he's got nothing in range, so what can he do? Sidestep! And the Orcs, well, what we can do here? How about some more Fongings? Fongings, all right. And he misses, of course he does. This has not gone well for the Orcs. Yes, they do have the advantage. They have gotten removals here. They will have numbers on the second half. And if the KO stays out, they'll have really solid numbers. But in the meantime, it's one to nil. It is 1-0 here for the Dark Elves. This halftime, of course, being brought to you here by Starbucks Coffee there. The best drink you could possibly get made from ground mermaid Starbucks Coffee. But what else do you make coffee with? Really? That sounds disgusting. All right. How else would you have coffee, you know? If it's not ground from a live creature, what's the point of it? Where's the caffeine? Yeah. Just saying. Oh, well. No? Really? Cool, that sounds disgusting, lads. That sounds wholly disgusting. All right, let's get back to the game here. All right, Dark Elves. They got the KO back, so they're up to 10 players. Meanwhile, as you can see here, Orcs, well, they're at 11. However, remember, this is the big playoffs here, Dark Elves. Smart Dark Elf, all he has to do is drive it in and score. Make this 2-0, try and put this game out of reach here. Orcs, it's self-explanatory. you got to put the pressure on the balls. You really do. Refer to my sister. She'll show you how. Anyway, <laughs> she'll do it for 50. <laughs> High heels optional. Anyway, let's carry this on here. Dark Elves. See if they can put this one away here. There we go. Oh, there it is. Sid's in the game. Hulk. Smash. Well, Sid's picked the side and it's a confirmed kill. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, it's a confirmed kill. All right. He's dead. He's dead. Think about all the roll of it. The fuck is dead. And that was a good star player. Failed apothecary. Catches on the bounce, but the Dark Elves, boy, good toy for you to say, it on it. Sid delivers. <laughs> that killed one of his best players. Dead right there. Boy, that was brutal. Well, if the Dark Elves win this game, they're not in good shape anymore. That was one of his best players. Dead. What a rock of all things. Well, there he goes. Full speed ahead down the field there. Wishing for better days. Oh, God. <laughs> no, God, please, no. 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 Yeah, that was the scream heard around the world by the coach. You can't fucking believe it. That was brutal. Nice timing. Yes, nice timing indeed. Sid fucking delivers. Well, Sid's on the favor of the Orcs today. All right, Dark Elves, down to nine players. They might win. Maybe. The Orcs, well, they can still get this ball. They just got to do a wee bit of work. Da, da, da. 
Yeah, a lot of work, actually. All right, meanwhile, Orcs, there's the pirate tackle. There's the hit. Come on, pile on. You know you want to. There we go. That's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, well, I didn't want to hear his armor held. I wanted to hear death. It would have been beautiful. Second Dark Elf death of the day. All right, Orcs moving down the field. Again, they can rescue this situation. I've just got no guarantee they can stop it here. Oh, we're going to go straight to Falag, are we? Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's straight to Falag, lads. It might be straight to fucking Falag here. Yeah, yeah, I think the Orcs are figuring this one's already done. It, technically, it's not done. Oh, God. Look at this. Makes the miracle dodge. One die. He missed. Well, he's not even going to try there. They're shooting at us! At us! Don't blame them. Sidestep, one die, don't blame them. But now it's time for everyone's funny day. I want their teeth! Don't touch their teeth! Uh, he's not touching his teeth, he's touching everything else on him there. His liver, his lungs, his spleen, you name it. It's doing your hurt self home surgery. Yeah, uh, that's exactly. Unfortunately, Ed's been kind of watching for that kind of stuff there, and Ed just does another ejection because of course he does. We gotta shoot some stuff up, yeah? So, second ejection, unfortunately, there for the Orcs. Yep, Ed's had a pretty good sharp red card today. He is catching quite a lot of things. Hopefully, he's not catching gangrene. Alright, meanwhile, Dark Elves, well, they like to score. No, really, they'd love to score right now because the way this game's going, they need to earn some SPP. Runs it in, there's the score, 2-0. to nil. Right now, like I said, it is pretty expensive here for the Dark Elves. I don't think they're really happy with how this one's gone down. Yes, they're winning. 2-0. Looking like they're going to go on to the next round in bloody awful season 24 playoffs. However, is that really worth it, son? Is that really fucking worth it? He's going to be asking himself many questions at this point here. Where does he get a new one? I don't know. All right, go get the ball. All right, so we can move an extra square. So much for that idea. First here, then there. Wake up your mind already. Oh, well, free square that does give the Orcs a fighting chance here to hopefully get this ball down the field quick. And they need to really honestly get it down the field in two turns if they can and score and get themselves back in striking distance. No, honestly, that's what they got to do here. they got to go all out and try and score two turns. Now, if they can just kill a couple more Dark Elves along the way. Great idea. All right, here we go. Solid fisting. There we go. Another takedown right there. Yeah, like shooting squeaks in a barrel. Unfortunately, it's earlier stuns. I can already hear the boo from the background. All right, there we go. Solid tackle. Solid hit. Solid takedown. Does he get him? That is a KO. Look at me, Flash Boss. Well, it's a removal. So, at this point here, if you're the Yorks, I hate to say it, you take it. No, really, you take it. You, what choice do you have? It's a removal if you try to score and get back in the game. You really are. So, there he goes, moving full speed ahead here. Gee, 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 hoping to make sure he actually gets down the field and gets a score. He's got the right idea. He's got the right idea. Try and get all the way down the field and go for the big score. At least that's the idea. Give me some slugs. I'm going back in. Because if he can make this game in two turns, two to one, because he's got player advantage, especially if the KO actually doesn't come back, well, there you go. This isn't over to the fat Abling dies, lads. All right, Orcs, Lona running down the field here. Meanwhile, let's go and pick up the ball. There we go. Casual six. That's all you need. And he's moving already down the field. Hey, you. Yeah? We've been waiting. Well, so much for that idea. Okay, GFI, he makes it. Is he going to risk the second GFI? Nope, there's the... That's Grant's work, that is. 
Zectorman is not a happy camper right now. He's really not. There we go. Accurate pass the reroll. Still drops the damn thing. So much for that idea. Oh, well, casual stun. Yep. Calendar the girl actually got a stun. Well done, ladies. Well done. Jiggity, 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 jiggity. Whoppy, whoppy, whoppy. All right, makes the dodge runs out here. Yeah, now the Dark Elves have got time to recover. And they're definitely going to take advantage of this time to recover here. And yeah, they're even going to put some pressure on the ball. Like I said, consult my sister. $50, she'll do it for you. Anyway, meanwhile, passing in there, moves in. Oh, look at this. Makes the power leap. Gets in behind there. Well done indeed. And the Dark Elves, again, that phenomenal pressure they've been doing all day. It's really been rattling the orcs. Overtime. Well, that's what the orcs are fighting for right now. They're trying to make this go into overtime. They really are. Orcs, of course, they got a lot of work ahead of them. A lot of work ahead of them. They need to get this ball and get it down the field to actually do something. Oh, yeah. Loner. Now you see why he didn't even risk a GFI on that one. Didn't even risk it. And I don't blame him whatsoever. Didn't risk it. No biscuit. Here it is. The pickup. Does he make the dodge? Yes, he does. Impressive. And now it's the easy pass. There's the throw. There's the catch. Run and shoot. Shoot and run. And now here he is running for his life. Is he going to risk the handoff? No, he's not. He's actually going to take it another turn. He's, he's got turns to work with. He's got turns. It's not a bad idea. Got it, boss. But it does put the pressure on. And it does make it. Remember, it's an unskilled blitzer. All he's got is movement. Dark Elves, can they surf this one? <coughs> I think that's exactly what they're going to try. Here comes the calendar girl. Two dice. Push me. Fuck you. Here we go. One die. The moment. And that is it right there. Thanks for standing still, wanker. There he goes. Off the pitch. Off the reservation. The crowd goes fucking wild. The ball thrown back in. But that is a great throw for either team. Bang, 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 bang. Finally, Gerbil shows up. Forces the reroll to be burned. No double one, though. And now here we go. Dark Elves. Elder receivers potential. Well, they're realizing that they're up 2-0. Can we make it 3-0? Well, as long as they can prevent the ball getting anywhere. All I have to do is some casual dodging. Easy peasy. Happy squeezy. He's got the calico. Is he gonna throw it? Yes, he does! Surprise, motherfucker. And he got it way down the field. Orcs completely out of position. Not expecting that one. Solid punch, solid hit. Gets the takedown. That's what I wanted to hear. But now, desperation start the show. Oh, no! <laughs> this is what we like best. There she goes. Calder Girl is gone, but the damage is already done. The damage has already been done. The ball has been surfed. They can't take it anymore. The booth, they are going mental. And meanwhile, more beatings going on. The power of Rassel here. Casual dodge by the Blackhawk. Is he going back to foul? Oh my god. Oh, come on, you can get this ball. He could. Oh no, he, he's going to go to fouling. All right, well, he rerolls that because he's got dodge. Fails it miserably. Why don't they die? That was it. You know, you could have made that two dice. One, two, three, four, five, go. You could have made that two dice, son. You could have made that two dice. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Damn, son, where'd you find this? That was terrible. You could have made it two dice. You honestly could have made that a two dice block. Chose not to. Right, it's come back to haunt him, unfortunately. All right, casual dodge away there. AG5, miraculous in this league there. Makes it out there. The rest of these running away as hard as they can there and as fast as they can. Bonus that. Yep, Dark Elves realize they've got this game pretty much sealed away here. There is nothing that can catch this lad here. They're just going to go and take their time. Sigh. Run, bitch! Run! Hawks. They put a hell of a fight there. First half, they tried so hard, but again, it seems to be the one thing that threw the Orcs off is the kill piece got the ball to start the drive. Which meant he couldn't do what he really wanted to do with that piece. He had two chances early in the game to obliterate opponents. Except he was holding the ball and couldn't pile on. So, very frustrating indeed here. And now the Orcs are just continuing to get frustrated here. They are doing damage. They've got a good kill, thanks to Sid. But, 
Uh, it's looking like that's the season, lads. All right, Orcs cannot save this one here. And it looks like the Dark Elves are just going to cruise. Oh, my God. He's going to stall. He is going to stall. Rippy's got no apothecary. It's burned. The Dark Elves are going to stall another turn. They are going to guarantee this game stays out of reach here. Dark Elves moving down the field. Would like to run away. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. There we go. Makes it all the way. Yay. Boom. And meanwhile, the other lad, casual dodge, easily makes it. Let's hear it for the power of AG four and five. Elfin Dickery absolutely at its finest. All right. Here we go. More Dark Elves just cruising down the field. Like I said, no hurry. Orcs, like I said, that throw in was devastating, but the pass even more so. All right, the power of tackle, power of hit. He gets them. Is he going to pile it on? Oh, you bet he is. You almost hit me, Shooter. You get. There's KO, so it's yet another good follow removal there. But at this point here, it doesn't really matter at all here. It looks like the Orcs. It looks like this season is about done here, lads. It looks like this season is about done indeed. It's been exact man. You deserved better. Not the way this game went out. Hey, best way I can describe it, Orcs took a while to actually get warmed up and start really breaking armor. It really took a while. That first half, Dark Elves' relentless pressure. They did not give up at all on the defense, and it showed. And on finally, turn 5-6, they did get the ball to finally pop away, and they were off to the races at that point. Like I said, this Dark Elf coach, an inch of opportunity, he will seize it, and he has seized it with both hands, and is just fondling it the whole way. And there it is, it's three to nil! What a season this has been here. So the Dark Elves, they are going to go yet another round here. They are not done. They are not done at all. Here we go. Solid kick. What's the result today? Go. Oh, my God. Perfect kick again by the Dark Elves. Cannot beat them. And now it's time for, of course, that most exciting event in Blood Bell you could possibly get. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, let's see what the poor orcs can actually do. What can the poor bastards actually do here? Well, they can get some more kills, and maybe, just maybe, they can get the one touchdown there. Solid hit, solid takedown, occasionally. Yeah, occasionally, indeed. I have been known to tune into it on occasions. All right, push me, push you here. Orcs would, would like to actually break some more armor. There we go, solid fist, solid takedown, solid nothing. Orcs driving down the field here. Well, they've got two turns to score. Another solid fest, another solid takedown. This has been the problem most of the game here for the Orcs. Yes, they did eventually do some damage, got some help from the supporters, but it's not to the level he's expecting. It's really not. Oh, sit down! Oi, let's go! Troll's just not going anywhere, is he? Well, I guess what moment that means. It's probably fouling time. Or not. No, you know what? He's not even going to... Oh, here comes the loner. All right, come on, lad. Come on, one more square. You can... Oh, come on. Come on. He's right there. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. That's Grot's work, that is. <sighs> frustrating, I know. It is frustrating. All right, Dark Elves. Well, they like to go here out of this 3-0. to nil. Now, admittedly, 3-1, they don't mind. They still win. But 3-0 does look better on the score sheet, doesn't it? Charges in, solid it, poor lineman, never knew what hit him. Bang, 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 bang. And down he goes, and that is it for turn 16. Elves receiver, wide open here. Here we go, the big charge down, the throw, he got him. Woo! I keep shooting, but they keep coming. There he goes, full speed ahead, go, 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 go. He's in, he at least gets one back, 3-1.
Well, at least they got one back on the board at the end of it. They got one, but by then the damage had already been done. Three to one. Your final absolute car game there. Dark Elves moving on to the next round. As for the Chain Gang of Pain, they're sorry they're done. That was it. Three to bloody one. That is all they got out of there. Disappointing game there. The Orcs. It's hard to say. I would just argue. I don't think he actually technically. Well, this might be the odd slight thing. But the reality is, when your kill piece gets the ball, what the fuck else is he supposed to do? He can't do anything, can he? Well, he can't. And that's half the problem. <sighs> I, he was just disappointed. And you saw with the ball finally bounced in the dark elf. Saw that one moment and they took it. And you saw with the ball bounced there and they never looked back after that there. Well, thank you all for tuning in. It's your sport that makes the channel all possible there. And we'll see what we have for you tomorrow as the awful playoffs do continue. Awful. Bless your dice.